Hello guys, so today we are going to talk about SMBPS exec. So what we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about um, what is SMB, what is SMB authentication, and what is PS exec. And I'm going to illustrate with some practical on how SMB PS exec work. So what is SMB? SMB usually stands for server message block and it's a network file sharing protocol that is used to facilitate the sharing of files and peripherals between computers on a local area network. And SMB utilizes um, port 445, which is the TCP. Uh, but however, SMB run on top of the NetBIOS of port 139. So SMB authentication use, uh, protocol utilizes two levels of authentication, namely user authentication and share authentication. The user authentication must provide the username and password in order to authenticate with the SMB server so that it, it can be able to access a share file. Why a share authentication? User must uh, provide a password in order to access a restricted share. So PSSEC. PSSEC is a lightweight telnet replacement developed by Microsoft that allows you to execute processes on a remote Windows, on a remote Windows system using any user credentials. And it is performed via the SMB. And we can also use um, the PS exec utility to authenticate with the target system legitimately and run arbitrary commands or launch a remote command prompt. So now, um, SMB exploitation on PS exec or with PS exec. In order to utilize a PS exec to gain access to a Windows target, we need to identify a legitimate user, user account and their respective password or password hashes. Now this can be done by leveraging various tools and techniques. However, the most common technique is the SMB login brute force attack. And I'm going to illustrate that on my lab. So let us run, um, let us check the IP, let us run some MMAP scan on this particular IP provided for us. So, you know, I said earlier that um, the SMB is usually run on port 445 and it's TCP and the post 445 can be TCP, which is this, and the net BIOS is usually what 139, which is also this. So you can see that the um, port 445 is exposed. So let's run an MMAP script to list the supported protocols and their dialect on the SMB server. Oh, sorry. I was next. So let's okay. So these are the SMB protocols with their dialect two point oh two, two point one zero, two point three point zero zero, three point oh two, and three point eleven. So let's um log into an SMB to Let's log into the SMB to check the valid users and password on the server.
So we are basically logged into the server. We are basically we are able to um use Metasploit on this. So let's search for an, a login now, a particular SMB login. Okay, so let me copy this. So I'm into the, the file. So um, So let's show the options. So um, this is more like the uh, options that, are, that we can use to for expectation. But well, basically, we are going to use the arrow host for this for this particular illustration. Which is this? So let's set up the password that we are going to use for the brute force. now we have set the the password list for the brute force so we can now set the target ip using the um hosts using the set arrow host then the command then our target ip address So that has been set. So we are going to um, set the verbose mode as well. So to set um, the verbose mode, but before then, um, let me refer back to the option here. If you can recall when I did um, the show options, yeah, at this point, so it shows whether to print 
all output attempts for username and password. So we are not going to do that. So indirectly, I'm changing this to false. You can see here it's saying true. So I will just set mine to false in order to not to display um the username and password details for the brute force. Okay, so that has been set and it's time to exploit. So let's run this particular command and see whether we're going to get um, a username. This will take a couple of minutes. Okay. So yeah, you can see we have a sysadmin as the username and it's showing on the port 445, which is our SMB port as well. So as you can see, the um, sysadmin is the target, why is Samantha is the password. So this is going to, this particular um, exploit is going to take some few minutes. Let's be patient so that it will be able to display all the, um, the names and the password. And most especially, it's going to display the administrator. So let's wait a minute for it to complete. So the scan is done. So let's uh, remember that um, I said PSSEC is a um, lightweight um, turnout replacement developed by Microsoft that allows you to execute processes on a remote Windows system using any user credentials. So which simply means that you cannot just execute this on a Linux system. So however, um, there is a Python extension for it, which is the, let me see. So, um, as I said, it has an extension, which is the PSX, ps.py for Python, but then I'm going to use the Metasploit to exploit it. So, So we're going to set the so we're going to set the user. And we are going to set the password for it. So let's run this and see the output. So this is going to take a few minutes. Let's wait. So um, it's run scanning and yeah, as you can see, it gave us a meterpreter for the exploit. And let's search for a particular flag on the exploit.
So as I said, we wanted to get the flag, the particular flag, so of this um directory. So we are going to check for the flag dot txt. So this so this flag is just like when you are asked to look for a um, particular document, for example, now. So let's say we're looking for a TXT document. So what you need to do is to search deeply for that particular um, document. For example, if it's TXT. So for, when you found out that particular document, this number here. So when you found out that particular document, that means you've solved that particular um problem so that is what exactly i've done here that is all for today's class and see you in our next class